back in the woods. So, back in the woods. It's not a bad day, it's a wee bit cloudy, a wee bit slight chilly wind. Uh, and I'm to, out to show you a few things. This is my steel wheel rim that I'm going to use for a fire pit when I get my bow tent set up. An idea is between these four sticks, that would be these two sticks here, would be the entrance to the tent, and this middle bit we're standing in. These two sticks out there, that would be like where the TP part of the, the structure would go. That's where you build a TP in front of the the front of the door so that it acts a big windbreak and then you put your fire pit in right in the middle there and you light your fire and the smoke just goes up up the teepee and it heats the tent so that's the plan with that and I hope to get around to doing that sometime this year so I bought this stove this small stove on eBay and when I got it it should be Two wee grub screws, one on each side of that, to hold it onto the the stove. But one was missing, so that meant the top part was quite shaky. And the pot stand was like an alloy, like a what do you call it, like a cast alloy collars. It was round here and the pot stand went on it and when I tried to open the pot stand the collars just snapped it's rendering the pot stand useless so what I did was looked on YouTube and I seen guys building a pot stand and I, rather than throw this away I thought well I'll make a pot stand for it and I can still use it so I'm out here and I'm going to try the pot stand uh, see how well it works like I say it's a wee bit breezy but I brought my homemade windshield that should work quite good so we'll get the stove set up and we'll get, get a brew on and this is a pot stand when it's folded up it just folds up flat and it's just a case of flipping it together somehow you just flip it together like this it'll be practically impossible to do it with one hand but you just open it up and that and then that end one here clips into that end one there and it makes a triangle so I'm sure you've seen other guys make them they're so easy to make and they're, I think they're great if you if you didn't use aluminium tubing and use a bit of steel tubing you can sit them over a wee open fire and put your pot on there it would be a handy wee thing to make I used uh, an old aerial one of these old TV aerials and I took a bit of tube off it and cut it into three bits and the wires are just old welding rods I had that are bent into shape they're really easy to make but rather than throw the stove away I thought I'll give this a go and see how well it performs so I'll just set up the windbreak and we'll have a wee cuppa so that's the stove set up uh, with a windbreak round it now these wee gases you get a lot of stoves don't like them yeah, I've got another stove that doesn't really like the gas canisters. However, they do work, you just got to mess about with them a wee bit. So, we'll get the coffee on the go, and then we'll see how this long it takes to boil the water. So I've got the water on, and that should be ready in about three, three or four minutes. Probably about three minutes. Uh, the thing about these gas canisters, I've had that canister, or I bought four of them in 2018 and 
I've used two of them. Well, one of them, I sold a gas stove to a guy and I gave him what was left in one of the tins just so he could see it working and stuff. Uh, and then I used another one over a, a year. And this is my th third one I'm on to. Now, the secret of keeping your gas for so long is keep the flame down low. Don't let it spread out beyond the pot. Keep it underneath the pot. Keep it down low. And it doesn't matter. You're, the time you set your tent up, your coffee will be ready. There's no rush. So don't waste your gas. Try to boil stuff too quick. Just take your time. And it'll all work out nicely. Water's hot, getting hot already. And that's only been the length of time I've been talking to you. So, I'll get my cup ready. We'll have some coffee. I fear we might be in for a wee drop of rain any minute soon. So anyway, I've got my wee foil package of coffee. I usually make up before I go on wee trips. Uh, and I'll keep that wee package and I'll fill it up later. And I just keep my I just use the water's boiling now. I usually keep uh, a plastic bottle. So when you open a pint of milk uh, when you're away, you can put the rest into a plastic bottle and it secures it more tightly than a milk carton bottle because they leak, they always leak all, out, all, all over your bag so I like to get a cooler bottle or something like that and just put my excess milk in there if I don't drink it so I'll just make this coffee and put my stuff away so coffee's ready However, I lost my wee bungee. A wee bungee I wrapped round this tub. It sort of pinged off, so I'll have to go and search for it over here somewhere. Uh, so that's it. The wee stove works fine with that pot stand. And the water boils just as fast as the other stove. So quite happy with that uh, and now I've got a backup stove in case I lose one so thanks for watching and I'll see if I can find this bungee au revoir